It's time for reality. You're facing a situation where we can't cover it up with religion anymore. You can't ignore what is really happening to your country and what is already happening and going to happen. I have to be honest. In all of human history, there are five nations more than any other, five nations more than any other that have had the most scriptural influence in their foundations as societies. Five have had more scripture woven into their foundation as nations and societies than any other. The first, of course, is Israel. The second would be Great Britain. A third would be the United States. A fourth would be New Zealand. And the fifth would be South Africa. All the other countries in the world did not have that kind of scriptural influence in their foundations as countries. We have to be very realistic now. My children are born in Galilee. My family are Israeli. I immigrated to Israel after becoming a believer in Jesus. I've lived in the Middle East. I've lived through some very difficult situations. I've seen tremendous acts of terror. Even in my native New York, the Muslims killed my sister's husband on September 11th in the Twin Towers. And I said at that time, nearly 20 years ago, and there were witnesses and people who heard it, a few of them here tonight, that if you want to see the future of South Africa, look at Zimbabwe today, look at what Mugabe is doing and is going to do, this will come to South Africa. But coming from Israel, I warned that what was happening in the Middle East was going to come to Europe, to Britain, to America, a conflict with Islam. I saw these things coming. But living in Israel made me live in the real world as I never had before. South Africa is a country that replaced one evil with another. It didn't turn to Jesus, it turned to socialism and these kinds of ideas. It's replaced one evil with another. We have to be very realistic. We cannot beat around the bush. I came to realize that no place in the world has socialism ever worked. Joseph Stalin was a socialist. Adolf Hitler was a socialist. To this very day, Maduro and these people who destroyed Venezuela taken a rich country and turned it into a poor one, or socialists, it has never worked. Now, I'm not against socialists, but I just don't believe it's the solution to man's problems. I believe the solution to man's problems is the gospel of Jesus.